There was a bite on this pole. It's a little beat up. Dinkosaurus. It got off. It was a Dinkosaurus. Like a five incher. I'm reeling in it. It's a really small one and it came off. Good <laughs> things. It was tiny. Fish is actually feeling okay. You should get the net, Damon. It's not a keeper. Yeah. Yeah, actually, we can just get it off. Of course, it's on the ultralight. Damon does, or you do. Mike has one. Holy crap, that's a big one. And that would be a sogger. Damon, your turn. The hook just literally came out of its throat. <laughs> what? Yeah. We Damon's cow on, finally hooked into one. <laughs> the big one. I have a camera in my pocket. They must be catching some on the edge of the current over there. Cause there's four boats anchor over here. It is 
gone. Should be gone. This is a Sager. Yeah, this is a Sager. What you caught, I think, was a walleye. What Michael caught was a Sager, too. See, this is a Sager. And, like, the lighter colored fish are a walleye. Yeah, you should check the other rod for a minute or two. I think we actually did have a bite on the other pole. On my pole? No, on the jump that pole that Michael has. No, she still got bait. Yeah, I should bait that rig. If it's warm for a couple days, there's gonna be northerns in by the grade and the shallow side. And you use like spinner baits and buzz baits to catch them, or you can catch them on baits like this. That's what I use. We're gonna want to have the boat way out because this landing was this landing was a lot better when the water was up. It's flat at least. Why did the boat just die on me? I wonder. We don't want to go any farther forward though. We want to stay back here. Michael might as well just hold on to the boat here while I go to the car.